confidence. This is something that continues to impact me, impacts others, and it's something that we have to work on, uh, be self-aware of, and from that point, we become better. I'm talking about this today because it's something that has recently changed uh, over the last year due to what's been going on in the world, maybe isolation, changes in my life, and I think it's important to talk about. Before I go on, if this kind of rings true, impacts you, or you just want to talk about it, let's open a line of communication. Let me know in comments if you're on Instagram or if you're on YouTube. Please subscribe and just comment there. Now, I've just recently moved into a studio. This is it, bigger, something new for me. Something I really want to kind of <clears throat> introduce into my practice is allowing people to kind of gain confidence through this precise discipline, painting, attacking that big blank page, um, being someone that thinks they can't do it and then o suddenly overcoming it. And you then become entitled, you then become that person that can do that. You then start doing that, you begin that journey or you just escape and go into some other world. That's what painting is. I'm posting more information about that at another date. But confidence <clears throat> for me is something that um, you have to kind of harness and be aware of where you are. If you're feeling a little bit less confident or someone who wants to get better confident. I never was um, always someone who was extroverted. Naturally, I'm a very introverted person, perhaps both an ambivert, but I started to work on it and be aware of it. And especially when it dropped, um, doing things like this, um, things I do for my profession, obviously cut hair as well. That really helped, that interaction. And when that was taken away through isolation, I became someone that was kind of dropped, a little bit more resistant um, to doing videos, second guess myself. And you have to really stay away from that comparison um, kind of process where you look at yourself, you look at someone who perhaps is more confident and you think that that was gifted to them, or well, that's just the way they are. Everybody has this vulnerability in them. And I wanted to, this to be a message today that if you're feeling like you need to make a jump, you have an insecurity, you perhaps aren't the person that you want to be, or you feel like you need to start something just to simply better yourself. I don't want this to be some sort of cheesy message either. This, I want this to be a kind of moment where you realize that this is your entry ticket today, if you're seeing it, to just start in that thing, one, one foot in front of the other, baby steps, and in a year, two years time, You'll be on your way again. We all need to just break out of this shell that, um, that has been walled and put up around us now and start to really kind of create, create something, get back to where we, be, where we were, which is where, what I feel like now. I feel like I've finally got into some sort of rhythm and just push each other, um, but also be open. So this is what the message is about. Please let me know. If you're starting something, want to start something, or this has been helpful, um, I'm certainly someone that is very kind of aware of confidence, where I stand, and my also my vulnerability to it. So that's the purpose. That's why I qualified to post this. And uh, you may as well share something good on social media. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned on the workshop information. And just wanted to invite everyone to the new space. Thank you.